my brother went to one of our favorite little secret spots to pick this season's fresh crop of tangelos. They are perfect. So we had these from last season. Oh, so juicy, so great. And they picked just tons of them. So I'm just juicing them up. And as you can tell, I mean, just even cutting these things open, the juice is just exploding out of here. I mean, look at how much that is. So this is what I've got. I'm just pouring this stuff in here, but it's just like liquid gold. Mm. Oh, I wish, I wish you could taste it. It's like if you took sunshine and you filtered it through sugar, that's what it would be. But anyway, it's really easy to, to just do these and get all the juice. I don't know how I lived without a electric juicer, but we do this a lot. And you'll, you'll notice I have these all hanging around too. These are Lilikoi. I'm going to juice those too, but they are a little bit different to juice. We'll do this first. I kind of like to make the juice out of it pretty quickly. If I leave it too long, they can get, you know, a little moldy or whatever because they're like at the perfect ripeness right now. I can't tell you how much juice is in these things. It just floods out of there. And they, I mean, there's like nothing left. It just, it's all juice. So I've got this so that I can have some of the pulp, but I can just fill up my little jar and then we'll be able to keep on drinking it. And we go through that way faster than we should because we all just love it so much. But the just so juicy. I mean, look at that just gushing out of there. Sometimes that pulp gets a little full in there. Just kind of helping it get out. I don't mind some pulp, but some of that is just the the weird membrane part, and that's not exciting. Isn't that so great? So one of these things when you're making your own orange juice like this is that you have to keep sampling it for quality control. Yeah, that's still good. So I'm going to switch gears for a minute, and I'm going to do some Lilikoi. So Passion fruit or liliquoi is a really weird thing. So when they're ripe, they look like this, and they can even be a little bit green. But when they're good, they do this. So you just sit this around for a while until it gets nice and sweet and wrinkly. So when they look like you should throw them away, that's when they're perfect. So what I like to do is when I cut them open, there's going to be a lot of pulp inside here, right? And grab a spoon. This usually I just scoop on yogurt or we put it in a fruit salad, but there's juice in here along with the pulp. So what I love to do is I love to take a bunch of these and I run it through this little colander first, a little sieve, and I've got a little stone, rose quartz actually, stone like a mortar, a pestle, a pestle. Um, and I just do a little bit of smushing. So what you're going to see here is that I'm getting just that pure Lilikoi juice. Okay. Yeah. If this, <laughs> as my brother who's watching all this good stuff, taking the picture, and yum indeed, is it's if this is liquid sunshine, then this is the nectar of the gods because it is concentrated. <laughs> there are layers of smell. It's tart and sweet and musky and citrusy, but earthy. Lilikoi is just my absolute favorite. Plus also, oh, here, smell that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's very volatile, so once you cut it open... You have 30 seconds, maybe less, to smell it, and then it's gone. Which, there's a metaphor in there somewhere. But I love to, to process these when they're ripe. And what I often do, since when they're ripe, you can get a lot at once, often. Um, I have a little... We have a place where we forage these, but um, there's not always a whole lot there. This is a little Thai restaurant down the street, and they often have you know, local fruits, so I think they've got farm friends and stuff, and so you can buy dragon fruit when it's in season, or bananas, or papayas, or lilikoi. And so when lilikoi is ripe, there's a lot of them, so I just buy bags full. 
And Lilikoi doesn't look like you should eat it. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is beautiful. It looks like seedy snot. So if you were to see this, you'd be like, that's edible, are you sure? Oh, yeah. And what it, I love it if you just throw it on some yogurt. And I don't really even chew it, although you can. I just kind of like swirl around in my mouth and feel the flavor. And on like a little bit of, um, I use a vanilla yogurt or whatever, or, or a half vanilla and half plain so that you get all that Lilikoi flavor. I think that's really good. And then often what I'll do with this is I'll save the pulp this time because I'll put it in fruit salad. But I also will sometimes make ice cubes out of it. Because then you can just pop an ice cube and put it in your drink, put it in a mimosa, or, you know, thaw it out for use in a fruit salad. So um, there's just a lot of things you can do with things that get juice in them. And then one last thing that I have to decide what to do with is a calamansi lime. So this looks like a tiny little baby orange. This is a calamansi lime. And they're fantastic. Um, again, we foraged these, uh, this very thin skin, so you can... Cut these up and put the whole thing in a drink. Um, you can grind the whole thing. Like one, one last time what I did is I put it all in the blender, ground it all up, then I ran it through the sieve so that I was just getting the thick juice that has the lime juice plus some of the pith and all that. And that's fantastic in drinks. It's a really good, healthy thing to add to your water in the morning or add to a tea. Uh, and then you can just use the leftover pulpy stuff in, in a tea if you wish and strain that out. Um, but I'm also thinking... Sometimes I freeze some, but I'm thinking they might be fun dehydrated. So if I cut it into kind of big thick chunks and or slices and dehydrate that, now I can have a jar full of those to throw in. It's great in a black tea, or if you're just making some kind of a hot lemon water in the morning, you put one of those in. It's great. So all of these fruits, it's just it's such a joy to have access to so much fresh tropical fruit. Obviously, I'm here in Maui, so we have this stuff all over, and I am loving it. I'm not... I am not wasting a moment of the various seasons because always something's in season. And Lilikois bloom a couple times a year and different vines bloom at different times. So you can't always get them. And it's very hard to get them at the store. But when you can find them, I just go nuts and buy all of them. All right, so I'm going to keep doing this. And then if Ricky doesn't notice, I'm going to drink a lot of it when he's not watching. I guess I'll share. But I hope you enjoy this vicariously. Thank you.